So I've got this uh, M1090 dump truck here that's uh, uh, been around the block a bit with the military. And as a lot of uh, surplus equipment has, it's got these, uh, you know, kind of hodgepodge of uh, uh, mismatched parts. There's these janky mirrors here that, uh, you know, every time anything touches them, I drive by a branch, whatever, they end up getting kicked out of position. And then if we go over to the uh, other side here, you can see this one has this lovely, you know, looks like like AutoZone uh, replacement plastic mirror. And, you know, you gotta love boys in green mechanics. You know, some of those guys, I think they're just doing their time because that's not cool, man. That's not gonna hold up. This is just how it came from the auction yard. Uh, you know, I think it had a 50 miles or 100 miles or something on them. Um, anyway, so uh, I'm gonna be swapping them out with uh, these guys here, pretty sure these are off of uh, uh, MRAP, and uh, uh, they're pretty nice, stainless steel hardware. They've got the detent uh, mounts so that when you rot them, rotate them, they kind of hold in place, and they've got the tension springs there. And so um, they don't really, uh, they don't really use the same mounting system. Uh, let's see. Well, you can see the positioning upper and lower, you know, it's like totally different bracket uh, width. And so what I think I'm going to do is adapt, uh, adapt the old bars to these mirrors. And then I'm going to install these uh, uh, spring uh, tension detent ends on the old bars too. So I'll go through that whole process and you guys can come along. All right, so this is what I pulled off of the truck. Uh, looks like these are actually two different styles of mirrors, probably from two different uh, years or variations of the truck. Um, the brackets are a little bit different from the uh, left side to the right side. Obviously, the mirrors are different. The uh, brackets uh, for the uh, passenger side have these detents on it, which is actually intended to kind of keep the mirror in place unless you apply a substantial amount of force that's really nice for what I'm doing, considering I'm driving through the woods and constantly dra dragging branches across the truck. And I don't really like having to reset the mirrors constantly because they slip. Unfortunately, the original mirrors uh, lack the springs necessary for these detents to work. You can see there's the nubs there and then the, the uh, indents on the, uh, the mirror frame itself. Um, but for that to work properly, you have to get it pretty tight, but still have some, uh, some give necessary for it to slip past when you want to move it. And you have to have springs for that. This doesn't have that on the driver's side, the brackets don't have those detents and they're actually, uh, closer. So, uh, what I ended up having to do is make some new brackets to accommodate the new mirrors. And so I'll show you that in a second. The other thing that's different about these, obviously, uh, what I labeled a minute ago as a uh, AutoZone style mirror, I, I guess actually in some later generations of trucks, these are the uh, factory mirrors, these plastic housings. I don't really like them too much considering, you know, they're going to get faded in the sun and they're probably going to break the first time you hit them hard with a branch, but um, that is an OEM mirror. The mounting brackets themselves also lack adjustability there. So I think what I'm going to end up doing and I'll explain again in a minute, is reuse these hoops. And then uh, I'm going to cut off these mounting brackets and grind that smooth. And then I'll repaint those frames uh, before installing the new mirrors. So these will be the new mirrors that I'm working with. Uh, like I said earlier, I think these actually came off an MRAP. Um, just judging by the style of mounting, there's kind of an offset between the pivot points uh, on the top and the bottom of the hoop. Um, unfortunately, the way that the hoops are bent, they're not tall enough to, to span the uh, original bracket mounting on this particular truck 
Um, and also because of the weird pivot offset, uh, it would put the mirrors at a funny angle. And so um, for that reason, uh, I've decided to actually use the original hoops. Now, the original hoops have the welded brackets. I'll have to go ahead and remove those. I'll grind them smooth. The new ones, though, use these really nice uh, stainless steel uh, clamp assemblies. It's the same diameter tube in both cases. It's three quarters of an inch. Um, and then they've got the, you know, all nice stainless steel hardware and these L brackets. So I think that's going to go on there really well. Also, it'll give a lot of flexibility as far as the adjustment um, of the mirrors uh, for, you know, optimum visibility in the truck. Um, out where I'm at, again, that's pretty important. Um, the other thing, and this is the big thing for these these mirrors, they use these nice spring-loaded detents with a uh, nice wear plate, stainless steel wear plate assembly that actually is independent of the hoop and the mounting uh, brackets themselves. Now, I did have to make new brackets to accommodate these uh, because the original ones wouldn't actually fit. I'll show you that. So this is the new bracket assembly, um, and the top and bottom are very similar. Basically, you have this uh, detent uh, uh, index plate here that uh, basically mounts to the uh, angle bracket and then has the wear plate, the stainless steel wear plate on top of that that indexes to it. And then this here slips over the end of the hoop uh, mounting bar, excuse me there. Uh, this slips over the end of the hoop mounting bar and provides the uh, index points for rotation. And so, and then of course the spring here uh, provides resistance to, um, to uh, adjust how much force is required to uh, keep the hoop from swinging. I would have liked to have used the original brackets, but you can see, so this is actually a, the top uh, mount bracket. Um, you can see that when I put this index plate uh, on the bracket, the anti-rotation holes or the mounting holes here and here would have been off the back of the uh, bracket and I thought about tack welding it on but the driver side's even worse the whole the pivot hole position is even closer and so I thought okay well I'll just go ahead and make some new brackets from scratch so with the new brackets uh, I can accommodate the anti-rotation holes for this index plate here and so I just cut those out of some eighth inch plate and then uh, bent them up and so those should work nicely All right, well, we got these things all painted up, so now we'll get back to assembly.
Okay, so that's it. Boy, that made a huge difference. I've got these all adjusted. Uh, now, if we encounter uh, branches that are hanging off the side of the road or anything that's gonna hit the mirrors, I can snap them out of the way with these detents. You can see the spring detents. You just pull them out of the way. They snap in place. And then when you get back out of the, out of the brush, you can pull them back out and they lock back out in the same place. That's totally different from the uh, original ones. I don't know if later models of these uh, trucks came with the detented uh, uh, mirror mounts like this. You can see how that works, uh, but what an improvement that is. And then just having the mirrors mounted solidly so that they're not swinging around every time I hit a bump. Um, boy, that's nice. Visibility is pretty good. Uh, could be better, but it's, it's pretty good. Um, and uh, again, was able to reuse the original hoops uh, you know, they're not pretty, but they'll do the job. And for a truck like this, it's all about utility. And so I'm real happy with that. Um, I guess that's a wrap. So, uh, appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching.